Ah, America, the land where everything is supersized. Cars, animals, and the food. It's supersized! Large pepperoni pizza. American thick burger. An average American eats up to 2,000 pounds of food per year. That's equivalent to a Pacific walrus, a black rhinoceros, or an American bison in weight. So for the next 50 hours, I'm going to be eating like your average American. I'm actually afraid of how much weight I'm going to get. It's making me get weird cravings. This looks like if vomit had a child. And by the end of the challenge, I will have to do 100 push-ups for every pound of weight that I gain. I begin this challenge weighing 158 pounds. Good morning, everybody. It is 7.30 a.m. and it's time for the most important meal of the day, coffee. 400 million cups of coffee are consumed every day in America. That's equivalent to 40 Olympic-sized swimming pools worth of coffee. What better way to start out the day with some drug addiction? Let's go get some breakfast. Quarter of Americans have pancakes at least once a week. And I'm also guessing these are probably going to be the only fruit that I'm going to have for the rest of this challenge. A third of Americans are devoted breakfast eaters who never give it up. That was a hearty breakfast if I had to say so. I'm stuffed. Don't even know how I'm going to do lunch after this. But first, I got to get something very important out of the way. I had to address a very important elephant in the room. Stop it guys. Baba did a good job. I'm just bored. <laughs> The larger than usual portion sizes were starting to weigh in on Those thousand calories took forever to burn off. It's about 2 p.m. right now. It's time for lunch at... Can I get one Big Mac? Sorry, sir. Big Mac is out of stock. Oh, out of stock. They okay, okay. You just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. But you just can't How are they out of Big Macs? How can a McDonald's be out of Big Macs? No wonder Malaysia is the most obese country in Southeast Asia. They don't have a Big Mac. If they had a Big Mac, they'd be number one in the world. 20% of American meals are eaten in the car. That's because it's so easy to get food at the drive through I'd rather just sit in my car and avoid judgement from other people about my life choices. You must be wondering why there are two drinks over here. That's because a large Coke in the US is the same as both of these combined. Talk about drinking your calories. I'm actually afraid of how much weight I'm going to gain by the end of this challenge. Been working on this since the afternoon. It's making me get weird cravings for things like water. Time for snack. Please. No idea. This is for unhealthy people. I use these peaceful moments to contemplate some of life's most pressing questions before dinner. I don't know why I'm sitting outside. It's about to rain. I'm so jealous. I've not had any protein today. It's okay, maybe I'll just have mac and cheese. Says one cup. Honestly, this looks like if vomit had a child. Smell it, smell it, smell it, smell it. If the word processed had a smell, it would be this. Time for dessert. Ice cream. I did not anticipate how eating this much food would affect me. And I've been feeling so sluggish for the whole day today. The amount of food that's in my body is just weighing me down. We gotta do something different tomorrow. New game plan. We're going to try an exercise today. I checked my weight this morning and uh, <laughs> Things are not looking very good. Not all Americans live such a sedentary lifestyle. Right, it is. Right? Ow. So we're going to try and live a little bit healthier today. It is. shall we go for a walk? I was afraid I would do some permanent damage to my body if I didn't change something. 31% of adult Americans eat cereal for breakfast. Ironically, it also has 30% of sugar. Got my coffee. Let's start the day out right today. We're going to try and get something a little bit healthier today at... We shall continue with eating in the car again today. After breakfast, for every hour that passes... Wait, what is the fact? I actually forgot. After breakfast, Americans eat 1.7% less healthy as each hour passes. So it's important to make healthy choices throughout the day. So we're going to chow down this subway and then make our way to the gym to burn off as much as we can. And after that, we get to splurge on this chocolate chip cookie from Subway. With yesterday's food wreaking havoc on my body, I had to dig deep to find the energy to complete this workout. Just got done with working out. I'm struggling to metabolize all the food that I've been eating, so I feel so depleted, I feel so weak. But you know what? You showed up. So you know what that means? I deserve it. Mm, so good. Why am I still sitting outside? Hades was cheering me on to stick to the game plan. I was ready to give up and save myself from the damage that I was causing. Other pizza. And my body's been taking a beating from all the food. But we still have dessert to go after this. And then the final wanes. Are you team crust or team no crust? I'm for dessert. Doctors are gonna love me. I'm gonna give them good business from the amount of shit I'm eating. Definitely 
coming out of this challenge worse than I started. I don't know if I can keep eating like this every day. I've only been I've only been eating like this for the last 40 hours and I can't imagine some people do this every day. My body is starting to turn against me. <sighs> I'm actually really worried to check the weighing scale in the morning to see how much this challenge has affected me. It was time for the final weigh. The omen of truth. All that food, let's see where it went. There's no way. There's no way that this is happening right now. How is this even possible? <laughs> so I actually lost a pound and a half. I lost weight from all the food that I ate. How is that even possible? So I failed or beat the challenge? So it turns out my Asian body can't handle the average American's diet. I wasn't feeling great at the end of the first day and at the second day I was just done. I had no energy left despite the amount of food that I was eating. None of the nutrients were getting absorbed if there was nutrients to begin with. The biggest takeaway from this is making sure that you do not eat in excess and also making sure that you eat sufficient amount of nutrients to make sure that you get what your body needs. By the end of the first day, my skin started to get dry. I wasn't feeling great and I would purely put it down to the quality of the food that was going into my body. And my body was telling me that you just gotta learn to listen to what your body is saying. We've seen how the standard American diet filled with processed foods, excessive sugars and unhealthy fats can take a serious toll on our bodies. My own experience is a testament to the importance of being mindful of what we eat and making healthier choices. Make sure to like and subscribe to this video. I'll see you guys in the next one.